and good evening. Welcome back to Parked Up Anywhere, and I mean that uh, because I'm back in the car. It's not the Kitchen Editions, that's right, you can refresh it all you want. It's, uh, we're back in the car, and for that one person who wanted to know what happened to the car, nothing happened to the car, I just wanted to change uh, settings, and uh, yeah, it was fun. I like to have Kitchen Editions now and again. So, anyways, today, tonight, before the Liverpool Real Madrid final, uh, it's reality with with this track called Straight Edge. Now, reality is an artist from up here, so this is going to go under the hashtag NE Season. And uh, yeah, go check the rest of the videos out. I'll leave a link up here or a little I click it, and then uh, you're on. Okay, so that means translated. That means no more talking, more watching. Let's go. All right, is it recording? We're recording. Yep. All right. Yeah, I saw them belts. I saw them boxing belts up there. Shit, I used to have the uh, the wrestling belts up here. Not that I wrestled, just loved it. Yeah. Play fair. Please don't be mean. There he is, reality. Young, black and handsome At least the sun but not all And I've got a few anthems Bar after bar like a pub crawl <laughs> They take shots at random I'm Bar after bar like a pub crawl Love that Now um, I was a guest on Reality's podcast uh, Which was In Your Neighbourhood podcast I'm not sure if that's still running or not but I was a guest on there maybe last year when the channel had just started and uh, I think it was like under 1,000 subs at that time. I can't remember, but I will actually leave a link to the podcast if you're interested. If you're interested to actually know a bit more about Larry, myself, weird referring to myself in the third person. So if you want to know a bit more about me, then obviously I'll leave a link in the, uh, in the description for the podcast episode. It's about an hour. We just chat like lads do so go check it out if you've got some time you don't have to listen to, the, to it all just skim through it if you need to uh right okay you have them bar after bar like a pub crawl <laughs> they take shots at random i mean if you want to go let's rumble <laughs> but i'm gonna buy me a mansion why's that because i'm in it for the long haul pagan why try spud me if you can't stand me i won't forget you move janky don't try call me bro we ain't family how you gonna throw dirt on my name then act like everything's fine and dandy how you gonna say SMD next week? You're asking me why I'm angry. I tried to pop. Wait, 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 wait. Is this, is this aimed at someone? Have I just stumbled on a northeast beef? Bruh, please tell me that's the case. Please tell me I've just stumbled on northeast beef because I am all on it. See. There's, I've heard a few more tracks from reality, obviously, over the years and stuff, and I feel like, lyrically, lyrically, he's one of the best from around here, like, in terms of, uh, in terms of his, his, his bars, and, uh, his, it's not so much his syllables, like, you know, like, compound syllables that I always talk about, but his bars, that's some clever shit, it reminds me of, like, a Lil Wayne, a bit of, like, a Lil Wayne. How you gonna say SMD next week? You're asking me why I'm angry. I tried to part from the drama, but karma is a beach named Sandy. Frankly, I've been doing it my way. Nonsense, don't tickle my fancy. Heard on the low, they were trying to get rid of the kid, but they should have had a plan B. All cause I rhyme in bunches and the punches got them spinning like Zangi. It's magic. <laughs> there you go, he just explained what I was trying to explain. And he just explained it for us. All cause I rhyme in bunches. And the punches got spinning like Zangi. All cause I rhyme in bunches. That's brilliant. That's that's a that's a like a chopper flow, isn't it? It's like a ch chopper bars, if you will. That's chopper bar, by the way. That sounds like a cool ass name for a pub. It's magic. No, it won't take long for me to go OTT. OTT. And I know some things about you we won't repeat. Won't repeat. 
Play fair. Please tell me he's talking about someone in, in specific, in particular, because I really need to know that. And I love the fact that, obviously, he's doing this with the heavyweight belt. I think that's a heavyweight belt, like a world championship belt, by the looks of things. Um, boxing. And, again, him in the ring. So, it's that... It's that you know, sort of representation of him, obviously, you know, fighting in terms of, you know, fighting for his career. And I'm, I'm not saying like, you know, fighting and losing battle or anything like that. I'm just saying he's fighting for his, for what he wants. And he's the champion. That's what he's conveying right now, that he is the champion. And, you know, he's talking about someone. Let me know who it is. I hope it's someone in particular. I really do, because this has just got really interesting. Ah. Please don't be me. Please don't be me. Straight edge, COPD. You don't want that smoke. You don't want that smoke. You don't want that smoke. COPD, you don't want that smoke. Isn't COPD like something to do with your lungs? Uh, from smoking. COPD, you don't want that smoke. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Some of his punchlines are cool as fuck, man. I love his punchlines. COPD, you don't want that smoke. 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 You don't want that smoke, you don't want that smoke. You don't want that smoke. You don't want that smoke, you don't want that smoke. You don't want that smoke. You don't want that smoke, you don't want that. I've seen it before, it's the same old cycle. That's why it's tough having these rap friends. Cause I've seen fans turn rivals. I've become so PG that I won't even swear with a hand on the Bible. Been carrying I've become so PG that I don't even swear with my hand on a Bible. I don't give a shit, right? I don't care what what people are saying out there. Like the Northeast has got some great talent, some great talent, and I don't think he's actually from the Northeast. I think, um, I think he lives up in the north, but I'm not sure originally. I think he's from down south somewhere because he's got that accent. I'm not. I can't remember. Can't remember. I need to go listen to that podcast episode myself, really. Um, but honestly, that's fucking genius. I love that. I've become so PG, I don't even swear with my hand on the Bible. Go back to that. That's too sick of a bar. I've become so PG that I won't even swear with a hand on the Bible. Been carrying so much weight on the mic that my back is broken spinal. Now I gotta ask who's with me. He says I'm low down and shifty. All I wanna say is you better show face, giving my trust out is risky. Trying to spin ish in my circle, you better move from around me swiftly. Cause I might be forced to risk everything and crack hairs, Bobby Brown and Whitney. Rush man called me up, but I want. <laughs> Honestly, some of his punchlines, man, are too fucking funny, bro. Risk everything and crack hairs, Bobby Brown and Whitney. Rush man called me up, but I want a when I land in 50. But now he's in my DMs trying to cop these, so I guess he must have spent it quickly. Sorry. And the rest is history. But the BS just miss me. Cause I don't wanna lose it and give a big pal to a mark like the That's it. I've just realized who this guy reminds me of, who reality reminds me of. He actually reminds me of Tiny Temper. That's who reminds me of old school Tiny. Like his first album. It was it Discovery? Or was that his second album? I can't remember. But honestly, that was, that was, actually, I've got some shit in my eye, man. Um, that's who it reminds me of. Even his flow as well, that little chopper flow that he's got, even with the accent and everything, he reminds me of that tiny tempo. That's who it reminds me of, bro. That's who it reminds me of. And you know what? Tiny's first album was too sick. Fight me in the comments, I don't care. Tiny Tempo's first album was too sick. Memphis Grizzlies. Real talk. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No. Can't mention no basketball I'm references. The BS just miss me Cause I don't wanna lose it and give a big pal to a mark like the Memphis Grizzlies ah! So, ah! No, it won't <laughs> What? Take on for me to go OTT OTT And I know some things about you we won't repeat Won't repeat Play fair Please don't be me Please don't be me Straight edge This is my mother loving house. I pay the bills in here.
I even pay for the flipping fiber optic, so he really stuck to that PG persona. He's done it, man. Great effort. The thing is, the thing is, right, he is one of the best. I've been following reality for a while, to be fair. Um, even before we actually jumped on a podcast together, um, I've been following him for a while, and I think he is, especially with his punchlines and his bars, I think he's one of the best. Hands down, one of the best. Um, there's a lot of others that obviously claim to be repping or to, you know, the king of the north, whatever the fuck it is right now, it's just wrong. Uh, speaking of the northeast though, the next video that you will see will be the northeast cipher featuring, I think it's Ken Dog, Blitz from Borough, Lofty, and there's one more guy, I can't remember his name, but that video is coming soon as well. I haven't forgot about that, so there's going to be two hashtag any seasons this week. And uh, yeah, go check him out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think of reality. Do you want to listen to some more of his stuff? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay alert, and good night.